Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up, YouTube? Uh, it's your drama channel, your drama central here. And the uh, the most dramatic thing that I think to actually talk about is to um, pretty much stop beating around the bush and uh, talk about what I think will actually make you successful. And that is, quite plainly, um, becoming a Christian. I'm not necessarily saying... I'm not even saying that. I don't even think, like, the, the best part of the Bible and the, 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 uh, the doctrine and the ethics and the, the whatever, the precepts in the Bible is, like... The fact that you don't even need to like to, to to be materially wealthy in America or to like be successful in anything you set your mind to, you don't even need to submit to Christ or be a Christian or convert to the faith. You can just open the book up, go to Ecclesiastes, you can go to Proverbs and like, you know, multiple other books in the Bible, or just study it from afar, like from a secular point of view, and just like learn the narratives and learn the uh just the stories and the lessons that, like, whatever. Because even from a secular perspective, okay, just pretend it's all fake, but the stories, you know, from a historical perspective are true, more or less, you know. If you looked at it as myth instead of necessarily as true, like, I believe it's true. Super controversial, super traumatic. That's why this is on the drama channel. But um, even from, let's just say it's kind of true, right? Okay, please. Let's just, for, for argument's sake, let's just say it's kind of true, okay? So if you just take... What the Bible is, and, and, like, like what the Jews brought it to uh, the present, and the Jews, and now like Christians, and like even like you could even argue like uh, the Muslims, they they've taken like from the Torah. I don't know uh, what their book, the Quran, but they like base a little bit off of it, the Torah or something like that. I don't know. I don't know too much about Islam or anything like that. So I commenting on that. Let's just focus what I want to talk about a little quick. I'm gonna try to make this kind of quick too. I'm gonna go for under seven minutes, but anyway, that's gonna be tough for me. So if you look at the Bible. What is it from like a secular point of view as like a mythology, um, from a mythological like point of view, like a myth, like what, 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 or what is it like from a materialistic point of view is a better way to put it. It is a book from like, you know, okay. So who wrote the book? The leaders of the nations. It wasn't normies like me and you. Okay. It wasn't normies like me and you, um, who, made YouTube, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't like, there's no way it would have survived history in any form, like the Dead Sea Scrolls and stuff like that. It would not have survived history whatsoever for, in the hands of the peasants. I think, and I don't quote me, I could be wrong on this. I just don't feel like a lot of uh, normy writings from the Dark Ages made it to the present, if that makes sense. Like, we, we can't even identify bodies or like, you know what I mean? Like, you, you barely find any bodies from the old world. Uh, let alone, you think their literature for most people couldn't read and write would make it this far. Anyway, I digress. Again, from that, from a random tangent, call me Tangent Man. Um, the book is a set of stories of different important things that the leaders of communities wrote down because they felt it was important. And you could infer from that, why did they say it was important? Because it was like, it, they were they were stories of rises and falls of different characters in the books like i i can finally say it i'm really cool i'm a really cool guy i've read it from cover to cover i've read the whole bible not a lot of people can say that i'm flexing a little bit okay i'm flexing a little bit um i've read the books cover to cover i can't like remember half the crap i read because it is such a dense book and there's a lot of just like very stale information it'd be like reading ones and zeros in like uh the old machine code or whatever but um it's super stale but like I know the gist of like the entire thing, and most of the books are like the relationship between God, which would you could look at God from a materialistic point of view as a the meta most effective tactic available. Okay, so like if God say again, now you're gonna have to suspend your disbelief again if you're atheist in the chat, uh, or sorry, this is the stream in the in the viewership here. Uh, if God is real you can then say he made things to be a certain way. And if things are made a certain way, that means they have advantages and disadvantages because they are either this way or that way, okay? If that kind of makes sense, I am firing straight from the hip. I'm spraying. My reticle is spread out. You know what I mean? I have no uh, I have no steady aim from the Call of Duty. I'm not aiming down the sights at all, so just take all that into account when I'm saying this entire thing. I'm just trying to do it smooth in one take. So anyway, back to this. Back. I like to back my hand. Back to what I was talking about. <laughs> um, things were made a certain way like iron does what iron does like steel hard steel does structure is function I'm sure some, pe some people have heard of that so 
if gods exist and things are made a certain way, you can think of the things in the, like the, to summarize, the things in the Bible as the Christian perspective or Jewish perspective of the most effective tactics available. And the reason why that's like, why the Bible over other books? Well, mainly because the Jews are one of the first, like, the Jews are Christians and Jews. How do I put this? They survive. You know what I mean? There was the Dark Ages. There was multiple apocalypses before modernity. You know what I mean? Like, we don't even know how many, like, times humanity has tried to emerge and died. Tried to emerge and died. It tried to emerge and died. But on the last run, the last playthrough of humanity from the Dark Ages to now, Jews not only made it all the way and maintained their heritage, myth or not, they maintained their heritage and their tribe from early humanity. They are one of the best performing, like monetarily, uh, you know. At least that's the that's the uh, stereotype of Jews, and, and that's a pretty decent stereotype if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? Um, they survived multiple attempts at genocide. They've they've survived multiple apocalypses. Like look up the Bronze Age collapse. Like from the videos I've listened to about that, that was the that was like the USSR um, archipelago era where, you know, people were selling body parts at the market, like the the families would, this is getting pretty dark. Um, I, I guess I won't go into, that's pretty nasty stuff too, but like they survived multiple atrocities like mankind has done to itself, plus, you know, probably like a nice, you know, plus environmental factors and stuff like that. So, by, and they take their Bible seriously. They, they pretend it's real, but not even that. They study the... The messages, the, the the strings, the the theories, the logic from the Bible on how to conduct yourself in, a, in an efficient manner. Okay, so that's pretty much my whole argument. Why, like, if you want to be successful, that's a good place to start. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm going to say it's the end all be all because again, I'm not God or like a godly figure or anything like that. And personally, I just haven't studied enough to just be able to stand on my two feet. I personally believe that it is probably the best. And I would, I would debate people about that with some time. I think that Christianity is the best way to conduct yourself. And that's super controversial. And I know, like, I'm going to die for that one. But anyway. But I don't know enough to really argue about it. It's just my feeling right now. But I am, I got to where I'm at mostly by following Christian ethics. So there's my personal experience. I followed Christian ethics. And I got to where I'm at today. And should you know me or watch their videos, I, I'm doing pretty good. Um, so that's it. That's how to be successful. I would start there. Uh, Andrew Tate is not a good uh, example to follow. I'm going to go over my time here because I want to talk shit about Andrew Tate. I fucking hate Andrew Tate. I don't hate Andrew Tate because I don't hate anybody. I know that con it sounds contradictory. But the motherfucker, I hate seeing him all over the internet. You know why? Because he's talking about, like, he's 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 another trap, bro. Like, it's not even right wing or conservatism. He's not even fucking conservative, bro. He fucking, you know how he got fucking rich? He fucking... The same people that he's now coaching, he first extracted all the value he could from them by, uh... Oh, man, it makes me so mad. It pisses me off, man. Like, he extracted all the money he could from poor, vulnerable men who are porn addicted and then, like, had women... He... He fucking... He... Fuck Andrew Tate. He fucking got a bunch of women to extort the money from people, and he brags about it. He brags about how like people were like emptying out all their mortgages and all their savings and stuff. He's like, "Give me all your money, give me all your money," and now he's on fucking YouTube monetizing, being their coach. Like he he caused the problem. He's like a crack dealer, causes the problem, and then he opens up a fucking rehab right next to his crack corner. You know what I mean? Like he's he he caused the problem, and now he's pretending to be the cure. Like yeah, he's got some good advice. Everybody's got good advice. You know what I mean? We've all lived. If you've lived. A certain amount of years that means you've solved a certain amount of problems and stuff like that but by no means is he should be the fucking leader of any movement that is going to help men because like how he got to where he is is not good enough and until that motherfucker apologizes for everything he's fucking ever done to humanity fuck that guy that's what i gotta say about him man like fuck i'm not like trying to hate like whatever man like i feel like that's a legitimate criticism but like but there is emotion attached to it and i just it's because i hurt for bed because like I'll get a little vulnerable I was porn addicted for a very long time and it did a lot of damage to me and it's still it's still I don't even know how to like conceptualize what's damage it's done to me like from fifth grade that was when it started for me and it fucked me up so I get it and that's why like 
I get super sensitive about like people like him and stuff like that. The entire like the baby bro seed and stuff like that. But anyway, yeah. So that's it. You want to be successful in America? Start with the Bible. That's my advice. I don't know where else to tell you. Like, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and everything else will be added out to you. Middle fingers probably isn't the best thing to do after like, saying to go read the Bible. So, uh, sorry about that. Um, but uh, have a nice day. Peace out. Drama channel. Oh, John McGarrett's out. <laughs>